Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to stretch your hair professionally to get these raggedy looking braiding ends all the way to these nice smooth silky ends that are perfect when you're doing your braids by yourself to give you that salon perfect look right from home. I want to let you know that I also did record exactly how I did go about braiding my hair. I recorded the entire braiding process just for you guys so you guys can see exactly how to do this from home this is perfect for beginners who are learning to braid their hair because I go in step by step to explain the entire process especially how to attach the braiding hair onto your hair so don't worry I've got you I want to let you know that I also did use this homemade shea butter moisturizer throughout this video so if you do want more information on it just let me know in the comment section down below Over the last 14 years that I've been braiding my hair myself, I have always used the Expression Collection. I'm showing you here that this comes in various lengths. It can come in 82 inches or for the one I use for this tutorial, 96 inches. So you can just choose which length you want based on how long you want your braids to be. Now when sectioning your braiding hair, it's important to keep in mind that you can do this in various ways, depending on how long you want your end result to be. So if I wanted my braids to be about 26 inches, you know, mid back, I would go ahead and cut this into four sections. But because I wanted these super long, you know, closer to like 45, 46 inches, I decided to go ahead and cut this braiding hair into two. So this is what I mean here. I'm just showing you that you can cut this into four sections, cutting each half into another half here. So it all depends, just cut it based on how you want your style to look. When cutting the braiding hair, there's a few ways you can do this. If you know that, for example, you're keeping your braiding hair and only cut cutting it into half, you can go ahead and just snip off the elastic directly onto the braiding hair. This keeps things nice and easy. You don't have to think too hard about it. It's just cut in half because you're only using two pieces with each pack. And then you just go ahead and loosen the manufacturer's braid. Another way to do this is if you are deciding to cut your braiding hair into more than two sections you can cut your hair first and then lastly go in and snip off the elastic before making the final cut this keeps things very very organized for you you also want to keep a few things in mind while you are doing this there are two ends to the braiding hairs that you snip you have your cut and you have the loose ends which are the manufacturer cut they are very different so you want to keep this in mind when you are doing your hair When holding your braiding hair, in order to prepare for stretching, you want to make sure you're holding with a very firm grip. You can see here the hairs are not moving as I'm holding it in my hand because my hand is in a very firm grip. Now this is the wrong way on the left hand side to hold the braiding hair. You want to make sure that there is no space between your thumb and your index finger. Like I mentioned before, there are two ends to a braiding hair. There's your cut and then there's the manufacturer cut. This is the not so optimal way to do it using your cut. So you're going to slide the braiding hair in between in small, very small sections between your thumb and your index finger. And you're just lightly loosening your grip on this so that the hair can slide through in very small sections. You're going to continue this process until all the braiding hair has come from your tight grip through your thumb and your index finger and onto the rest of your hand. When detangling your braiding hair, there's two ways that you can go about doing this. You can decide to use either a comb or a Denman brush. The optimal way to do it is with a Denman brush, but I will first show you with a comb. Wrapping your finger around the braiding hair, you wanna start by gently combing out the ends of the braiding hair. Now we're starting on the side that we stretched first. And it's important to always start on the side that you stretch first. You wanna gently comb the hair, working from the ends all the way up like you would in your natural hair towards the root. 
it's really important that after you comb the first half of the braiding hair you go on to the second half and you also comb that as well because you want to get out all the tangles this keeps the hair nice and smooth so that when you are ready to braid your hair it's very easy to separate each strand and it's very easy to separate each section as you can see here the combing is done the hair is smooth but you can look at the ends they're not exactly perfect and this is because we used the um, cut that we made first that was the end that we stretched so you do not want to do that I do not recommend you do that now this is how to get perfect ends using the manufacturer's cut which is the ends that were already there the ends you did not have to cut or create with the same tactic you want to make sure that you have a firm grip and you're sliding the braiding hair between your thumb and your index finger onto the rest of your palm you're just gonna keep going, going, going until all the hair is through. Then you wrap your finger around in order to get a tight grip and using a Denman brush in the same way you use the comb, you're going to brush through. Now the Denman brush is really ideal for this technique because it does such a good job at removing any flyaways, any weird um, strands in there. It does a very good job at removing all of them, leaving the hair very smooth and very soft as you can see right here. So this is what optimally the braiding hair is supposed to look like. It's very important that you actually moisturize the braiding hair as you're going along. This keeps the hair very soft. It also adds nice luster and shine to it. And it's good because when you do attach it onto your natural hair, it keeps your hair nice and moisturized as well. It's just an added step, but at the same time, I feel like it makes a huge difference in how the hair ends up looking. This is what we started with. This is what we ended up with. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun making it for you and I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to check out the braiding tutorial. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.